Hello, Pokemaniacs! My name is Lek, and today we're going to be going through the entirety of Pokemon Blue with just a Squirtle. If you guys have missed when I've done this pre-no challenge of only pre-evolved and evolutions, Pokemon that don't have evolutions, the no part of the pre-no portion of these videos, then go ahead and click on the icon here in the top right-hand corner. I've done this already with Charmander and with Bulbasaur going through the entirety of the game, and now it is Squirtle's turn to shine with Pikachu soon on the horizon, but we gotta get through the rest of the Prino Gen 1 deck before we get up to that mascot Pokemon. But for now, let me go ahead and show you guys the Squirtle that we have for the run today, named after Addy the Cutie. Addy, I love your fucking face. Thank you so much for being a part of our community and being here and being an absolutely amazing regular commenter. If you guys wanna be named after Pokemon in the future videos, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let a hoe know because I choose people who are active members of our YouTube community and who leave comments, not just on my Pokemon reaction videos, but on most of, if not all of my videos. And Addy is one of those amazing people. So Addy, thank you so much. I love you. And let me show you guys off to the community. So we have 10 attack, 12 defense, nine speed and 11 special, which the fact that we have 11 special is fantastic. Our attack stat isn't terrible. Um, I like, that our special is higher than our physical attack because as a water type water in gen 1 is entirely decided by type and it is in fact special so having all of these freaking fracking oh look we almost died addy fucking clutched it out though like the god she is um it's all based on the type of move. So there's no such thing as a physical special split with moves up until generation four. Gen one, two, and three are physical or special completely dependent on the type of attack that it is. For example, bug is physical as is ghost in gen one, two, and three. Um, so even shadow ball in gens one, two, and three is a physical move, not a special move, despite ghost types having very high special attacks. So, very little interesting early Pokemon uh, stuff for you guys here. But, uh, we are going to go ahead and go through the entirety of the game with just this Squirtle. It will never evolve into a Wartle. It will never, 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 never evolve into a Blastoise. And I will keep it as a baby little turtle forever. Addy and me will take on the world. And we are going to go through every single gym, um, every single uh, major fight, like, with some of the rivals, maybe Giovanni. Um, all of the gym leaders, all of the elite four members, and of course the champion, we will be showing off here in this video. And that will kind of just be the tee of seeing if we really can beat the entirety of Pokemon Blue with Squirtle only. I'm Brock, I'm Pewter's gym leader. Yes, and your rock hard defense will absolutely destroy me, I'm sure. All right, let's go ahead and bubble the, oh shit. Okay, we gotta, yep, kill the Onyx. So I went in at level 12 because I knew that with us having the type advantage and his Pokemon not knowing any stab moves whatsoever in Gen 1, that we would be fine. So that's bad number one, victorious with our under leveled relatively so, or at least on par, because he was, you know, Addy was the same level as Geodude. So not bad, not bad. Let's see what we can do with uh, Rival on Nugget Bridge and Misty. We are going to face Misty now. I am above her level cap. Of course, this isn't a Nuzlocke, so I don't have to hold myself to a level cap. Um, but it's nice to know that... Oh, God, we were really close there. I can almost beat her at level 22, only being one level higher than her ace with a pre-evolved Pokemon that should have already been a War Turtle by now because... Obviously, Addy is at level 22, wanting to live her best life as a war turtle beam, but no, she will stay a tiny little turtle the entire game. All right, I did not mean to hit Water Gun there. That was my bad. We are level 23, which is fantastic. We're only taking seven damage now from non-crit tackles, which is great. So, Sarmi's defense fell. We're gonna need it to go down. Okay, so we just mitigated her X defense. So now it's down by two. She, of course, gets a fucking crit. And we killed it! Okay, so the minus two defense plus being level 23 with three bites takes the Starmie out. Excellent. And of course, bite is not dark type. Gen 1, dark type, and seal type did not exist. In Gen 1, it is a normal type move, believe it or not. And from Gen 2 onwards is when bite gets its dark typing and then stays dark for the rest of the game. All right, it's time to face our rival Trash, who is my best friend. He's a Pokemaniac just like me and loves Pokemon to death. I did teach Bubble Beam because we literally just got it from Misty to our beautiful Addy here because obviously 
She is... No, Addy, you do not get to evolve. Bitch, stop it, you dumb hoe. Love you, but no. Absolutely not. No, no. Stop it immediately. I will see you guys at Lieutenant Surge, who I think... Mm, may not really be a problem, depending on... Uh, depending on how good our special is. Uh, because special defense and special attack in Gen 1, by the way, are a combined stat. They don't get a split in special attack and special defense being different until Gen 2 onwards. Fun fact. Some Gen 1 weirdness for analytics and stats for you. Um, but because our special attack is so high, our special defense, therefore, is also quite high. So we might be able to eat some stab hits from Lieutenant Surge and still survive and be fine with Thundershocks, maybe a Thunderbolt from Raichu or something. Uh, but we will see what happens. I would like to beat Lieutenant Surge without being super high level, if possible. Oh look, it's trash! So, I, of course, was able to, ooh, critical hit, nice, get the TM for Body Slam, which is fantastic, and Dig. I got Body Slam on the ship, and of course, Dig I got from the Team Rocket guy in Celadon City. So, no, Addy, you do not get to evolve, you dumb hoe. What did you just call me? Alrighty, it is time to take on Lieutenant Surge. Now, I am a little worried. Thunder Shock, not Thunderbolt. We might be able to survive this, actually. Oh, we did! Which means if we're gonna get our dig to connect, which I don't think we should miss it because it has 100% accuracy and we have a sand attack. Oh, we get a crit! That is Lieutenant Surge Dunzo, Funzo. Now, if he had used Thunderbolt, we probably would have died being only level 27. But it being a stupid bitch and using Thunder Shock instead of the more powerful Stab Thunderbolt gave us a win con, and I am here for it. Addy is trying to evolve, and absolutely not. Let's not make it happen. What are you trying to learn? Withdraw. To raise my defense? Hmm. Would I rather raise my defense or lower others' defense? Because we have two physical moves of Dig and Body Slam. It behoove us to be able to lower the enemy's defense even more to make our own physical attacks more effective versus increasing our own defense, which is already relatively high considering we're a turtle Pokemon with a shell. So, I'm gonna say no to withdraw, and Addy isn't gonna get to learn shit. I am now at level 46 with Addy because I... Oh my god, we're going into the Tangela with full HP. We're going into the Vileplume with 112 HP. Oh, this is actually amazing. I simply didn't want to go into this fight extremely overleveled. I know that already, oh, we might not survive this. 46 is really high considering her ace vile plume is 29. Does Addy eat this? And it was a critical hit! And Addy ate it! Addy, you fucking beautiful bitch! Oh, I love you! Thank you! Mwah. We can finally get past this goddamn vile plume now! Because we did over half with our first dig, which means we will do over half with our second dig, and that's Erica finally done! Oh my god! The other gym leaders are gonna be a breeze after her, oh my god! Ah, uh, finally! And we have Surf, which is amazing and far better than Hydro Pump, because not only does it have more PP, but it has 100% accurate, high base power. I think it's base power at 80 in Gen 1, which is uh, fucking amazing for a 100% accuracy move. And we get more PP with it and stab. So our moveset is mm, almost entirely set. I think I'm probably going to go back and get maybe Ice Beam before the Elite Four. Um, just so that I have something to be stab against flying type Pokemon as and dragon type Pokemon. Though I'm not really worried too much about the Dragonairs of whatnot. But it'll also help us against the Venusaur for the champion too. So I'm going to go back and get Ice Beam before the Elite Four. All right, Addy is high leveled AF right now, which is fantastic in every single way. So let's go ahead and get rid of this muck, get rid of this coughing, and hopefully get rid of this wheezing. The attack missed. Oh, toxic, you say. Well, how about surf and death? All right, there we go. That's coconut. <laughs> okay, Sabrina. So obviously we want to hit her on the physical side. Should I have fucking... <laughs> probably healed up before uh, doing this while fighting other people. Yeah, 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 I probably should have. But I didn't need to because Addy is such a high level from having to be so over-leveled for Erica that we are just sweeping through the game right now. Okay, Blaine. We are almost at the exact same level that we were before. Uh, just a couple higher, which is not bad. 
and we have essentially just one shot his entire team just for shits and giggles oh my god and giovanni's gonna be just as easy i can already tell should i have healed up before facing giovanni and going through all of his gym people probably but am i so overconfident in the fact that i am gonna have stab super effective shit going on that i don't even need to be at full health in order to beat this bitch absolutely we are one-shotting everything on his team even without the sand with the sand attack bullshit we are still gods we are level 67 now and we're gonna take out the pidgeot and the two hit ko almost a one hit ko is the two hit ko on the gyarados now no it's not even close but it is paralyzed so that's fantastic we're going into the alakazam with 153 hp amazing so body slam can we eat a psychic 153 down to what 96 so it did about 60 damage ish body slam was an almost one hit ko which is amazing because even if it used recover which it did we would have taken it out now venazor we should be faster now and we are okay so we and it's attack miss oh r and jesus big gay pikachu Mwah. thank you big gay pikachu i appreciate you you beautiful bean r and jesus Thank you, thank you. For those of you who didn't know, in the Pokemon universe, RN Jesus is Big Gay Pikachu. So we always thank our Big Gay Pikachu Lord and Savior, RN Jesus, when good things go our way. So Addy was able to kick the shit out of trash. So let's go. Now I need to get through to the Elite Four. Oh, and I need to get Ice Beam as well. I need to do that or I'm going to very much regret my life choices if I don't do that right now. All right, everybody, it is time to take on the Elite Four. So, let's go ahead and take a look at Addy, who is now level 69. And she has 99 attack, 125 defense, 91 speed, which is not the most, but it's something, and 113 special. Our defense is obviously extremely high. Our attack is not as good as I would like it to be, but it's very close to 100, which is great. And our special attack, which is special attack and special defense in Gen 1, is really decent so we should be able to take more hits from like you know alakazam and things like that relatively well um i did obviously teach ice beam to our little tiny turtle baby uh so hopefully that goes well and we are going to go ahead and just body slam this dugong who is just resting over and over again which is annoying as shit but here we are now I do not want to hit Cloyster on the physical side because his defense is through the roof. I think the best thing for us to do is going to do a stab surf on the special side. And honestly, just do a three hit KO from there. So for Slowbro, let's go ahead and uh, attack it again on the physical side. Easy. Uh, we are going to dig against the Jinx because it'll be super effective with her being an ice type. And let's go ahead and dig against Lapras. Uh, confuse Ray. Let's not get confused, please, for the love of God. Ooh, and I'm confused now. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. Well, I'm confused, but I did dig a hole. If she wants to keep confusing me, I'm confused no more! Let's go, Eddie! Okay, and then can I just body slam you to death? Perfect! Okay, so we were able to take on more life. Fantastic. Now we just need to see Bruno, if they're a problem. I highly doubt it. Agatha, we might have an issue with because of uh, potential toxic bullshit, but she's prone to switching out, so I don't think we'll have a really big problem with her. Or with Lance with Ice Beam that we have going on. I think the champion is gonna be the hardest part of this whole thing. Surf, dead, done, easy. And then we are gonna surf, dead, done, the Hitmonchan, surf, dead, done, the Hitmonlee, surf, dead, done, the Onyx. Uh, surf, dead, done, the Machamp. Oh, okay, so surf, dead, done, the Machamp is not true. Let's go ahead and use an Ice Beam on them. And there we go. And now we're level 70, but no, you little baby Okay, 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 okay. God damn it, whore. You will not let that go. Let's go ahead and dig against her first Gengar. 56 damage. Solid. Okay. Do I one shot? Uh, I became confused and hurt myself in confusion. I hate that for me. So it's a two shot with Ice Beam. Of course I'm confused. I hate it here. I do not like this, even remotely a little bit. Oh my god. Can I just dig and kill this thing? At least we got rid of the Arbok. Okay, we're on the last fucking Gengar now. And miss it with toxic. Let's go. Okay, excellent. And then we'll ice beam this bitch to death. Oh my god. We were able to save some of our PP for later. I love it. Oh my god. Okay, and we're level 71 now, which is 
Nice, we'll be a little bit stronger going into Lance And no, 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 no evolution for you, Addy Alright, Lance, I do not like your Gyarados It actually scares me terribly But you missed your Hyper Beam because you're a dumb bitch and I'm not Excellent, Dragon Rage, 40 damage, that's fine Leer, I don't like that my defense fell But we're definitely faster now and can guarantee the kill Let's fucking go Okay, we are good Let's go ahead and take out this Dragonair with Ice Beam. This is why I saved the Ice Beams specifically for this freaking fracking dude right here. So we're going to Aerodactyl Ice Beam the fuck out of that too. We're going to Ice Beam the Dragonite to death. And that is Lance done. That's why Ice Beam was... I knew just going to be a beautiful addition to our moveset. Why, hello, trash. Let's go ahead and take you out with all of your shenanigans. I would love to dig recovering with nothing wrong. Love that for us. Okay, let's go ahead and surf against this Rhyhorn. Let's go ahead and hopefully paralyze. Ooh, we got a crit. I love that for us. Okay, let's surf this uh, freaking fracking. Ooh! Okay. Well, we are not quite strong enough to take on the champion, even though we breeze through the other Elite Four members. So, probably by the time I get back to the champion, we'll have gained a level or two with Addy, and we'll probably be able to take it on a little more efficiently. So, you know how I said only moments ago that I would only be up a couple of levels? Well, I lied. We're at level 82 now, and you're probably like, Lego, what the fuck? Why? I don't think you understand just how much of a bitch Lorelei and Agatha were when R and Jesus is not smiling upon us. Big Gay Pikachu can be a bitch, okay? And I am not here for it in the slightest. So we are going to ooh reflect. I do not like that. Um, I guess we save as much as we can on that and try and drag out the reflect because I really don't want that up. Um, it should the reflect should go away in the next turn. Crash that out. Gyarados. Okay. So, let's go ahead and see if we can't get a para on this Gyarados. We can't, but we are... It is doing a solid 40 damage. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's go ahead and attack that. And then Ice Beam the Venusaur. Can we one-shot it with a super effective Ice Beam? Oh my god, we can with a crit! I don't know if that crit mattered, but if it did, thank for it, Jesus, for all the bullshit I've had to record for the last several hours! Oh my god! That's that's it. We did it. We finally defeated Trash! Ah! With just a squirtle with just our little Addy baby! Yay! Oh, and it evolved into a war turtle. Thing. You know what? I don't give a shit. Addy, you can be a war turtle. I don't give a fuck anymore. We just beat the entire game with just a freaking fracking squirtle! Ah! If you guys have made it this far in the video and you have not already, go ahead and make sure you click that like button and subscribe because not only does it taste delicious, but it helps us out grow in here on the channel tremendously. I... I've been recording for hours now. And I would really like to get this video out today. So, I'm gonna go edit and get this shit done. And I will see you all, wonderful people, in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And without taking up any more else time, I'll go ahead and let you be the truth go. Bye, Pokemaniacs.